Hello, welcome to Have a Homebrew, which for the time being will not be a brewery channel. Uh, mainly because I went and bought a house. So I've got nowhere to brew at the moment. I need to build myself somewhere to brew. So uh, let's show you what's going to happen. So I've got this uh, fairly long garden. I'm about halfway down it now. and There's obviously come with a shed and a bit of a pergola. So what's going to happen is that this area at the back there is going to have a 27 by 10 foot cabin in it which will be partly brewery partly bar and partly workshop that shed is going to go about there the pergola i think is going to go somewhere over here and uh, will be repurposed as somewhere to grow hops so really all i need to do is get that taken down first and uh, get a foundation built for the cabin which turns up in mid-december so let's get on with it been moved it was there it's now there and uh, wood has been acquired so it's now time to try and put the uh, foundation -y bits together Yay. end of day one some of it done need to finish off over there do that tomorrow next morning and uh, I've been thinking about an issue I had yesterday because I am a office dwelling creature. I managed to make a mistake. I'll show you. So yesterday I set up these battens and that was my level that the rest was meant to be at but you'll see it was about a centimetre difference by the time I got to them. So this morning I have got to um, raise it all up by a centimetre. If I had a table saw I would just uh, rip a centimetre off of those, but I don't. So I'll go with the other option. Hilarity ensued. Over there, there, I needed to uh, cut some wood to length for the last section. And uh, they were the first thing I did this morning and I got it completely wrong. Let's hope that, uh, my brewing skills are better than my building skills. Show you around this area will be the bar so these are the double doors so this is the middle section and uh, over on this left hand side signified by that lovely bit of wood it's probably where the bar area will go mainly just a sit and if you so wish but probably just to help yourself to uh, beer uh, my sim racing rig is going to go somewhere in there, I think. So uh, that's all very exciting. I'm thinking I've got a projector floating around. I might project onto that wall as well, just to make it feel a little bit more barry. So the door to the left as you come in will be the brewery. In there. Here we are. Nice and cozy. 
cosy. Uh, again, signified on the floor with, I think, this is my first draft of where the um, work surfaces will be. So we'll have a big long L shape. I'm thinking here, um, I've got an idea for a fermentation chiller powered by a fridge that's just open. Uh, we'll see whether I can work that out. That should allow me to ferment more than I can at the moment. Um, not sure what I'll do on the work surfaces there, but work surfaces are always good. I'm envisaging that over here is where most of the brewing will go on. So we've got that three vessel system uh, that I've got to finish. Uh, so that'll be good fun. Lots of space for extra storage above as well as we need it. Then over here, I don't want to blind you with the light too much, but where that light is will probably be where my existing keys are goes. And I'll route the taps through that wall, route the beer lines through that wall, which is where I showed you where the bar will be. The other room as you come in is going to be the workshop. Very small for a workshop. I've put a couple of my things in here already. Uh, just to, I have no idea how I'm going to organise this space. Not a clue at the moment. I haven't got any wishes. This is the room that probably I won't bother insulating, although right now it is a bit chilly in here. Um, so we'll see. So there's your little mini tour of what will be have a homebrew HQ and uh, plenty of good times to be had in here. I'm really hoping, but this room, this brewery, this is the one I am really looking forward to. Um, hopefully James and I, and anyone else who gets involved as well, will be able to give you some real good videos to watch from in there about our journey to uh, getting a lot better at this homebrew lark. Thanks for watching. If you've liked this, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate that really pushes me on to uh, make some more videos as we go along. Thanks a lot.